Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I wanted to have a very quick discussion and a known show about pineapple guava or Fijawa flowers, including a couple of questions I wanted to ask real botanical experts who have a very good knowledge of pollen and flowering and when plants are the flowers reach certain stages and for which you probably will need to be a real expert on and have studied Fijoas and pineapple guavas for a very long time to be able to answer the question. So basically I just wanted to look at the various stages. This is a flower bud that's preparing to open. You can just see the, um, the stamens starting to poke out the ends. Um, basically the parts you've got on a flower, the next stage is next to it. In the centre of the flower, the longer piece that's sticking out that's pointed, that is the stamen, uh, stigma, let's get that right, that's the female part in the centre, that's the stigma. And then the, the male parts which are outside, are the stamens and they consist of I think the filaments and the I believe the pieces on the end are called the anthers they release the pollen and the thin bits they go on are the filaments and the whole part of the two together two parts together are called the uh, stamens and here's the next stage. So basically after they've opened, you get to this stage and the pollen is not being released at all from the stamens <coughs> or the anthers. Then the next stage, <coughs> a day or so later, is this stage here where the pollen is being released from the male part. Or it's probably a little bit out of focus but the pollen is being released here you can tap it and the pollen will come out and it will brush onto the plate can't see on a white plate obviously um, then the stage after that is when the male parts start to dry out and there's no more pollen being released from them they've completely dried out so they're past their fertile stage and then the final stage and they start to drop off just after this and the petals of the flower dry up and then the final stage when they've all dropped off is when you're left with the sepals which what covered the flower bud originally and then the embryo fruit if it was fertilized would develop behind there the question I want to ask the real biological experts on pineapple guavas and fijoas because this is what's most interesting is at what stage is the female part receptive now you can see that obviously the male parts have released their pollen here and now I'm, what I'm wondering is I'm thinking that the female part in most flowers is not receptive at the same time that the male part releases the pollen because the flower doesn't want to pollinate itself. So I'm thinking that the female parts are either receptive here before the pollen is released or possibly they're receptive here after the pollen is released and the stamens have dried out. However, when you look at them it normally looks like the female parts have started to turn dark and dry out as well at this stage. So I'm wondering if the female part might be receptive when the flower first opens before the pollen is released. So perhaps what you should be doing if the plant flowers are on the plant is brushing your pollen from the ripe ones and then brushing it onto the female part of this stage but I don't know so I'm hoping that it's going to be a real expert botanist who has studied Fijoas or pineapple guavas properly perhaps an American professional grower and they might be able to answer the question as to when the correct 
time to try and pollinate the flowers actually is. You can see when the pollen is released, so you can use that to pollinate other flowers, but should they be pollinated when they're at this stage, the female parts, or at the same time that the pollen is released, or just after the pollen is stopped being released. I, in actual fact, normally try and pollinate them at all three stages, just to be sure, because I don't know the answer. Obviously, you can't pollinate them at this stage because you can't even see the stigma. Um, and that is hopefully a fruit that would have set. I cut it off. It's only off my seedling plant, and it's got loads on there, so I'm not bothered anyway. But I just thought I'd do a discussion of the sort of four to five stages of the flowers for anyone that's interested and of course you can pick off these petals at any time when they're still fresh looking like that and eat them very pleasant anyway thanks for watching that video i hope it might be useful to somebody and i hope someone out there will actually know the correct answer about what time to pollinate um, if you do please let me know in the comments underneath and i'll share it with other people Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you think you know anybody who might know the answer. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos when they come out. I will catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.